probably one of the most popular pantheons, the subject of video games and dozens of movies. Of course, after diving into the world of Grecian mythological monsters, we knew we'd be coming back once again to flip through the pages of history to discuss the deities of Olympus. An easy list to compile, as many of us have heard these names before, we present to you the top 10 gods and goddesses of Greek mythology. Now while we identify these gods and goddesses, why not hit that subscribe button? While you're at it, click the bell so you don't miss out on our next mythological archive. Number 10. Hades Lord of the Underworld, God of the Dead, Hades has always been a talking point among those with a fascination for Greek mythology. Once brought into the world, Hades, the overseer of funeral rites, was devoured by Kronos and later saved by Zeus. He played a pivotal role in locking the Titan gods in the pit of Tartarus, but when it came time to divide the cosmos between Zeus, Poseidon, and himself, he was bestowed the realm of the underworld. Hades is the son of Kronos and Rhea, the forced husband of Persephone, and father to Zagreus, Macaria, and the Arenes. Number 9. Ares Depicted as both a proud, bearded, and armored warrior, and a nude young man wielding a spear and helm, the god of war had an insatiable need for battle and destruction. To the Spartans, Ares was the soldier every Grecian man should want to be, a strong and resilient military leader. The Olympian fathered seven immortal and over 30 mortal offspring, some with his wife Aphrodite and others with the goddess of war, Inyo, and an abundance of mortal women. Ares is also father to Dracon Ismenian, a dragon serpent that guards Ismenian's spring of Thebes. Number 8. Hermes Upkeeping communication between the mortals below and the Olympians, Hermes was swift running and could travel between worlds with ease. Son of Zeus and Maia, and known for being the Greek god of commerce, Hermes also stood as protector of travelers and athletes, often tricking the other gods in order to protect humans. Beyond being a messenger, Hermes was often charged with carrying dead souls to Hades or delivering dreams from Zeus to humans. Along with commerce, Hermes oversaw social interactions, travel, friendship, games, hospitality, and sex. Number 7. Dionysus If you're a bit of a wino with a divided personality that's both joyful and ill-tempered, you're not too different from the Grecian god of fertility and wine. This patron of the arts was the son of Zeus and his mortal wife, Semele. When a jealous Hera, Zeus's main wife, learned of the child, she manipulated the mortal into requesting to see Zeus's true form, which instantly killed her. Zeus saved Dionysus, forcing Hera to enlist the Titans to kill the young god. Though they tore him apart, Rhea returned him to life, and Zeus, seeking protection for his son, gave him to the mountain nymphs. Number 6. Apollo Son of Zeus and Leto, Apollo wore many hats as the god of music, god of healing, and the god of light. All of those titles seem considerably moot when compared to his main task of pulling the sun across the sky with his four-horse chariot. With Zeus up to his old tricks of godly adultery, Hera refused to allow Leto to give birth to Apollo on land, forcing the Titan goddess to seek refuge in the newly formed Delos. Apollo, also known as the Archer, favors the Delians for the assistance they lent during his birth. Number 5. Aphrodite Undeniably one of the most beautiful goddesses of the Grecian pantheon, Aphrodite quite ironically, was married to the ugliest of the gods, Hephaestus. The temptress of Olympus serves as the goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality, a role she filled through her promiscuity and relations with both gods and mortals. It is said that Aphrodite was not born of the usual natural process, but instead rose from a foam that gathered around the castrated genitals of Uranus. 
Her relation to the other gods is a point of question, though deriving from any part of Uranus would make her a daughter of the Titans and cousin of Zeus. Number four, Hera. Wife and sister of Zeus, Hera was considered the supreme goddess and the patron of marriage and childbirth. After many failed attempts to court her, Zeus turned himself into a disheveled cuckoo to earn her sympathy. When she held the broken bird to her, Zeus turned back into his human form and raped her, leading to their forced marriage. Though Zeus's wrath kept her from attempting a second rebellion after the first one failed, Hera often allows her contention for her husband to get in the way of his plans. Number three, Poseidon. Brother of Zeus and ruler of the seas, the trident-wielding Poseidon is also believed to have had connections to earthquakes and horses. Poseidon fathered many children, including Theseus, Belus, Neleus, Atlas, Triton, and the monstrous Polyphemus, Orion, and Antaeus. To show honor to the dual god of water and land, the Ithsmea festival was held in his name and, much like the Olympics, pulled together the greatest athletes for a series of contests. Despite being commonly known as a god of the sea, many places of worship dedicated to him were further inland, which shows his strong connection to dry land as the Enosagaios, or Earthshaker. Number two, Athena. The motherless daughter of Zeus, Athena ruled as the goddess of war, handicraft, and practical reason, and was said to be born from her father's forehead. Another version claims Zeus swallowed the goddess of counsel, Metis, while she was pregnant with Athena, allowing the child to be born from him. Regardless of her origin, she's always been recognized as Zeus's favorite and the most powerful of his offspring. Outside of her place on the battlefield, Athena was recognized for her proficiency in spinning and weaving. The city of Cecropia, now modern-day Athens, adopted Athena's name after she won the favor of its inhabitants over Poseidon by bestowing them the gift of an olive tree. Number one, Zeus. We fought him in God of War and watched Liam Neeson bring him to life in Clash of the Titans. But do you really know Zeus? Wielding his staple lightning bolt, the weather and sky god is the lead deity of the Grecian pantheon with a history, like Hades, that starts by being eaten by Kronos. With the aid of Rhea, wife of Kronos, the infant Zeus was saved from his fate and hidden in a cave on Crete. It was here that he met Almathea, the nymph responsible for nursing the young god, giving him the strength to dethrone his father, Kronos. With the Titan gods locked away, Zeus took control of the heavens and Olympus and became the moral overseer of mortals. Loved what you watched? Don't forget to give the video a like and comment below to tell us about your favorite mythological figure.